Hey all, well, sorry the camera's off, I have low vision for those of you who don't know. But if you haven't yet, please don't forget to subscribe and check out my YouTube page for awesome videos. But today I'm going to talk about something that means a lot to me, charities. Now, some places out west donate cars and their car lots. Now think about a low-income family that cannot afford a good car. To get a good car, you have to spend over three grand or more. Now, a low-income family ain't going to have that. They're only going to be able to probably save about 1500 or maybe 1600 the most for a used car. And that ain't going to get them the best. It's going to have issues. It's probably going to have an engine light on. Probably a lot of rust. Probably a lot of issues. Somebody else's headache they're trying to get rid of. Now, people who are loaded with money and very rich, who always drive new cars, never drive a used car. Now, when their cars hit a certain mileage, they trade them in. Or some people will drive their car till it hits 170 or 180,000, then they're turning them in. Well, may I tell you something? Cars can sometimes go three, four, five hundred thousand miles, and sometimes even beyond that, depending on how they're kept up and what kind of car it is. Now, picture a family that has low income, that don't want to live on the bus line. They want to live outside of the city and live in parts of suburbs. Do not have bus lines. Depends on what part of suburbs you're in and what areas. Or sometimes even some rural communities that people want to grow up in and raise their tra children in around no crime and stuff like that. Now think of this. They can't do that if they can't afford a vehicle that can get them around. Now if they buy a car for four or five hundred, it's not going to last that long, is it? It could if it's a good deal. Some people sell cars that cheap, but it's very hard to find a good deal. I had to look a year and a half to find a good car. And it was a Honda Accord I got for 600 bucks. The car sits right now just sitting there because I got a station wagon for 500 And the station wagon just needed the water pump, the power steering pump, the alternator, the air intake, the battery, the brakes, rotors, calipers, struts, and starter. And once I placed all that, I have low vision, but yes, I do automotive. And that was for my mom, that station wagon. It runs like a champ. It's an old Ford wagon with the three O's. Them three O's are bro proof And they can go through a lot of stuff. You just got to look at what engine you're buying and what's wrong with the car. If you are a low-income family and you're looking for a good used car, I would recommend a Ford with a three O or a Honda four-cylinder or a Toyota four-cylinder. But if you get a Toyota four-cylinder and you go in the 90s, stay away from the automatics they have a little bit of problems with the automatics when they get older they can slip depending on what transmission some of the automatics are good but it depends on what transmission you got of that car now hondas are good they run and run and run don't get me wrong toyotas run and run and run too toyotas i swear they are good cars ford makes good cars too the ford 3.0 is an awesome car meaning the engine not the car the Ford 2.3 was an awesome four banger. The Ford 3.5. Now, if you get the one without the turbo, that can last you a pretty long time. If you get the turbocharged one, it adds more stress onto the engine and wears out the parts faster. So, it yeah, it has a lot more power, but it won't last as long. And it won't be as reliable as the one without the turbo. Because... The more power you push into an engine means the more stress that engine is going under and the more wear and tear that engine's going to have. But back to the subject. Now, car lots get cars traded in all the time by people who are rich and they have lots of money. So they only drive new cars. So think about it this way. They get a car, they trade it in because the... Either the mileage went over 100000 or it just hit 170000 They don't think it can go no farther, so they trade in for another new car. The car lot in return, because such high miles, if it's a car lot that sells new cars, sometimes they send the auction, but sometimes don't just send them to the junkyard and crush them when they still have life left. Now, that could go for a family that their kids can miss the bus and they need a way to get their kids to school. But think about it. Now they ain't got a car. And if they have to go on bus line, they might have to take one, two, three buses before they can get to the kid to the school, depending on their area. And they might even have to walk a little bit from the bus stop to get to the school. So think about that. 
that family could be walking snow and pouring rain, a thunderstorm with that child because they missed a, a school bus. In return, if they had a vehicle, they could drive their child to school and their child could do school activities after school or go and hang out at friends' houses and their parents could pick them up later. Or if they're playing sports, their parents could have a way to bring them back and forth to sports because sometimes when you play sports with school, you got to travel. So you got to have a vehicle to travel with if you want to see your kids go because sometimes you can't ride on the bus with the child and you need to drive yourself to see them, depending on what school district they're through. Or if you're an elderly person, retired and don't have much money and that your car died, then you need a new car because you own a home not on bus line and you can't afford a new car, you're stuck relying on family members to bring you grocery shopping and stuff. Now, picture if you could have a car, yes, it could be beat up, but if it, well, if it turned over and ran and had no mechanical issues, could have cosmetic issues because that don't matter, along if it gets you to point A to point B and has a solid frame, that's all that should matter. It shouldn't matter what it looks like or what it is. Then it gets you to point A to point B. Those people who are low income would be very appreciative of it and be very honored to have something like that. Now, if car lots donated the cars that still had life left instead of them sending them to the junkyard, that could be a tax write-off. They would get that money back at the end of the year in their taxes and when it lose no money and in return they'd be helping a low income family be able to have wheels to get around and be able to be more independent on their own and could even help that low income family maybe they don't have vehicle to get to the job well now that family could work and get a job and in return that car made it so they're not low income anymore and brought them out of poverty or a college student needing a way back and forth to college could get a car and the agreement should be once they're done with it they donate it to someone else or they donate it if it dies to a church or to a charity that picks it up for free and takes it away and brings it to the junkyard and in return it pays for another charity like for instance heritage for the blind they take old junk cars that ain't saleable and send them to the junkyard and pay for things for the visually impaired like magnifying glasses or job coaches to help adapt the jobs to make it adaptable they do all kinds of cool things. Now, I ask you, if you don't, if you trade your car into a car lot, and it could be given to a family in need, and the car lot could get a tax rate off for that, would you like to see that low-income family be able to work their way out of poverty and have a vehicle to get around and bring them up out of poverty? People ain't in poverty because they want to be. It's because times are hard nowadays, and it's nobody's fault. It's the economy is hard nowadays. And picture just donating a car to a low-income family as a dealership could be a tax write-off that would pay you it back at the end of the year, and that low-income family would have a way around. Now tell me, does that make sense? I think it does. Now, if you like this video, please hit a like, and if you agree, please share it so other people can see this, and maybe a car dealer down the road can see this and will watch this and say, you know what? That's right, and I want to make it so I can help people and help my community out. And if I get tax, if I could do that as a tax write off at the end of the year, why not do it and help low income people and help people out instead of just sending it to the junkyard and getting rid of a car that still has life left? See you all in the next cool video. Don't forget to check out my page. I do history, I do road trips, I do vacation destinations i do all kinds of things see you all in the next cool video stay safe out there everybody and remember kindness is the best way to be always be nice and always respect the people around you and always treat others the way you want to be treated and you never know what the person next to you is going through inside they could have struggles in their life that they don't want someone to know so always be supported and always be kind and always help someone any chance you get. See you all in the next cool video.